I think it would be better to have, uh, I'd, I'd rather have a, uh, a slogan, commitment to integrity. So maybe the good guys did beat the NFL's so-called bad guys, but one could argue by committing six turnovers, the Raiders really beat themselves. Jim Gray, ESPN, Los Angeles. Now, as I was saying, don't ever invite New England Patriots owner Bill Sullivan and Raiders owner Al Davis to the same cocktail party. That is, unless you also plan to invite the authorities. The blood feud between these two goes back all the way to 1978, when Patriot wide receiver Darrell Stingley was accidentally paralyzed by Raiders now-retired Jack Tatum. Then there was the time that Billy Sullivan testified for the NFL and against Al Davis during Davis' move to Los Angeles. Yesterday, Pat's general manager, Pat Sullivan, Billy's son, jeered the Raiders players from the sidelines in the closing minutes of that AFC playoff game at the Coliseum. That led to an on-field confrontation between Pat Sullivan and a couple of Raider players following the game. I told uh, one of their players that I was tired of him making speeches about our football team and how, uh, how great the Raiders are and how lousy the New England Patriots are. I told him I was tired of that. He took exception to it during the game. He tells me he's going to see me after the game on the ramp, and he did. Well, who was it? Well, actually, the guy that gave me this was Matt Millen. Grabbed me by the back of the hair and flings his helmet at me. That's, be, that's real good, you know. Guy stands up there real tough with both hands and his helmet off and hits me with his helmet. But let me tell you something. We're just getting back for Jack Tatum and all the other crap that these, this football team has put on our football team for 12 years.